Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I'm really excited to say that I finally got my valve index. If you guys saw my last video, I said at the end that it was coming this week. And luckily enough, the date changed and it's arriving a day earlier and it has. Here it is. I'm so excited when I saw that delivery check mark that it's here finally. I ran outside, looked for it, there it was, and I unboxed it. Uh, and you know, we still got this over it, but I mean, it's here. I got the controllers. I got the headset right here. I didn't get the full bundle. I already have the base stations. That's something that I could upgrade over time if I really wanted to. And there really isn't that big of a difference. It's just maybe like a, wired, a wider field of view. Uh, but I think the old trackers are fine. First, we're going to unbox the controllers. I'm excited to get my hands on this. If you can't tell, I've been waiting a while to get this. Uh, I've been uh, anticipating this for a while and I'm excited to finally uh, be able to show you guys and give my first impression. So of course, we're just gonna unbox it, get into it real quick, some basic stuff, and then I'm gonna go play a little bit of some games, get my first impressions across, and then later on, just like with my Rift S uh, impressions, I'm gonna make a full review on this headset and its controllers. Peel it off. Oh my, <laughs> that was not good at all. How come every time I unbox stuff like this, there's always something that happens? Okay, here we go. Bam. There we are. Here is the headset controllers for the Valve Index. Uh, you can see here, hello world. Uh, these headset uh, controllers are a lot bigger than I ever thought. And let's get this out of here. This is just like the manuals. So basic stuff, different languages. And then bam, we got the headset uh, controllers, the knuckles controllers. It is so weird to have this in my hand. Uh, if you're someone like me who has just been waiting for these uh, controllers and just a headset in general, it is really weird to finally get your hands on it. Uh, furthermore, in this headset, you got, of course, just in case you throw these things around. But the cool thing is with these headset controllers is that you don't have to really worry about throwing these things around because they are supposed to represent your hands. The cool thing with the Valve Index is that it's really a big upgrade for VR in general. I mean, it upgrades, of course, the clarity. Of course, it uh, upgrades the field of view. Uh, it updates the hertz, so it feels more realistic. It updates the controllers to make it for uh, make you feel more like it's just your hand presence. So, and also the audio makes you feel more immersed in the game. So everything about the Valve Index, the whole package itself, uh, Valve has really gone into making it feel like you're in the environment. That's the cool thing about what they're doing here. Uh, and the controllers are just another step to that completion. And bam, you just put it on. Uh, the reason they called it the Knuckles controllers is because you just wrap it on your hand like this, you tighten it up just like that, and bam, <laughs> your hands are in VR uh, and you can you know fool around with this. Okay, so <laughs> people have been complaining about the clicking and you just saw me right here. I'm messing around with the clicking to make sure that uh, you know, there's a clicking sound, and I don't know about you, but I mean, okay, fine. Maybe there's not an, like an insane click to it, but there's a click. I mean, I'm moving this around. Can you guys see that? Look, I mean, there's a clicking, so I'm not having, <laughs> I'm not having any problems with some clicking malfunction with this. I mean, I think I can get away with it. It seems fine to me. Uh, everything just feels really premium. Uh, this also has to click to it. Some people complain about that. Uh, but overall, this is, this feels great in my hand. Uh, I don't feel like I'm gonna throw this thing around. I don't really think you need those. Uh, personally, I think this is fine just the way it is. So uh, now how do you loosen? I think you just press this, bam, and then you're out of it. Cool controllers, feel great. I'm excited to get my hands on, literally in these things and use them. But first or last, let's unbox the headset itself. Moving in, uh, uh, um. let's get this unboxed to get to the unboxing or unwrapped. Uh, here we are, Valve Index. This is a bigger box than I assumed it was. Uh, and all you gotta do is just cut this right here and then bam, we are in. So what does it say? It says headset, cask, uh, casquet, uh, visor, vi uh, visor, visor, VR headset, blah, blah, blah. These different languages. <laughs> all right, cool. Actually, am I doing this the right way? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> okay, then no, there is, there's a little bit more of a, here we go. All right, cool. Getting in, whoo, here we go. <laughs> Bam, there it is, finally. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it. Here we go. 
there it is. There is, let's get some more light in here. There is the valve index. Moving on to this, this is actually really cool. This is for the screen. Uh, I like the design of this. Uh, I, I love this cloth, this is cool. This is gonna be really cool uh, to use. Uh, I, I like the color scheme that they're going with this headset. I think it's really professional. Of course, with the unboxing so far, it's really professional. There is nothing lacking in this. Uh, it's even better when you get the, you know, you get the whole package of everything in it. It looks amazing, uh, sadly, but <laughs> I don't have that. Here we go. Here is the headset. You can see it has this, I think this is plastic over it. Uh, and then you got the amazing speakers that just look so high quality. I mean, these things just look amazing. This is gonna be great for Beat Saber. Uh, I recently just got Beat Saber, like literally like two days ago for the first time. I know a lot of you guys are probably like, oh, really, you never played Beat Saber? And no, I haven't. And I just looked at it when I first got my headset a while back. Like, I don't think I'm gonna wanna play a game that's based around like music and stuff like that, but it's insanely fun. I'm addicted to it. So I think this is gonna be awesome for Beat Saber. I'll try to get a good view here. It's awesome. These headsets really need to have IPD adjustments or you're going to lose a lot of uh, customers because people don't have the same IPD. Everyone's different. So it's great that uh, the Valve Index supports IPD adjustment. All right, guys. So now I'm going to hook up the headset for myself. I'm going to get into a few games, give you guys my first impressions of just the tracking with, of course, you know, the controllers, the screen, the audio, all that stuff, basic, uh, you know, information. And then I'm going to move on to my full review, which will be a few days later, or maybe even a week. We'll see how long it takes, but yeah, guys, let's get into it. All right, guys, I hooked up the Valve Index and I got to play in some games, Vacation Simulator, Pavlov, Contractors VR, Blades and Sorcery, all these great games with awesome Valve Index controller support, and man, am I impressed with this headset. Now, let's get into the negative first so I can move on to the quick positives. And uh, we'll end this first impressions and I'll move on to a full review uh, in the next week or so. But getting on to the negatives, uh, actually a quick positive before we get to the main negative. Uh, this process was much easier than the Rift S personally for me. I'm not saying that the Valve Index setup is uh, quick and easy. Uh, if you got the base stations, uh, when I've, I already had mine set up so I didn't have to worry about setting them up. That setup process will take a lot more time, obviously, than the Rift S, but because I had the sensor set up, I was able to quickly uh, install the software, uh, which I've already had installed, so it wasn't a huge update, uh, and it was a two-minute process compared to the Rift S installation, which was seven minutes without me having to set up external sensors. Uh, it was troublesome for me personally, but I'm not saying like in any way possible that the Rift S is bad. It's a great headset, but for me, comparing it to the Valve Index, I had a much easier time, seamless time, setting up this headset, and it works really well. Now, the negative I want to get into is I do have an issue where when I want to start up uh, the headset after using it, kind of similar to my Rift S problem where there was like a black screen every single time I wanted to play like a second use game, uh, then I had an issue where it wasn't starting, and it's the same thing with the Valve Index. Uh, there's an issue saying to unplug it from the headset itself. Maybe that's the issue. Uh, but I think that's just a standard response, and I don't believe that's the issue. Uh, possible solutions is that maybe it's like the uh, USB 3 port, it needs to be updated, uh, or it's just something with the software itself, because a lot more people have this issue. Uh, but simply, I just have to unplug it and plug it back in again, and it works fine, or just restart uh, Steam altogether, and it works perfectly fine. I have no issues while I'm in-game. The tracking on the fingers are really, really good. I'd say it's 85% accurate. You can see here it is pretty good. Uh, and uh, you just have to like caress your fingers uh, and move them around like individually. Uh, and then the controller recognizes each finger pretty accurately if there is like something wrong with it. So that's an easy fix. Uh, grabbing things is so seamless. Uh, it's like real life and it's awesome. This is kind of close to VR 2.0 as we're going to get right now. This is honestly amazing. I was blown away with these controllers. It was so immersive playing games like Vacation Simulator, Pavlov, you know, Contractors, uh, and even Blades and Sor uh, Sorcery. You'll see gameplay of that a little bit later where you just naturally grab things and move around like you would in real life. Moving on from the controllers, the headset itself, the display is so clear. Uh, it is similar to the Rift S, I would say. It does have a higher resolution than the Rift S, 
So uh, it is a little better, you would presume, from statistics, but it is really similar. I noticed that I was able to focus more in-game, like focusing on a gun. I was able to see the detail uh, much better like I would in real life, which is surprising because a lot of the headsets, I've never really been able to like focus both of my eyes together directly in the center of something and like see all the detail so clearly. Uh, that immersed me so, so much in this headset, uh, able to see all that detail uh, and thinking that I was there. With that added... Uh, field of view that was such a benefit uh, the issue kind of with that added field of view is that basically you have an issue where if you want to get the best field of view you have to put the lenses literally right on your eyes like you feel the lenses touching your face almost your eyes it's crazy how close these lenses can get uh, but if you want that added uh, immersion and you want that bigger field of view as much as you can get then you could do that that is an option so just letting you guys know that you can have a great field of view in this if you're willing to sacrifice some comfort. Uh, moving on to the audio. The audio is fantastic. There's so much bass. If you're playing Beat Saber or a shooting game like Pavlov or Contractors Onward, all those games are going to feel like you're there. You're going to feel the punches uh, in shooting uh, and, you know, grenades exploding, all that stuff. You're going to feel like you are there. This headset is amazing. I, I am finding myself being in VR a lot more after having this headset because I feel like I am in the environment. I'm so immersed. Uh, these controllers, this headset is the closest, like I said, that we're going to get to VR 2.0. Uh, some people might not say this is it, but this is extremely close. And if we're here right now, I can only imagine the future. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys did, go down, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace out.